What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jerry back in another video, back in another reaction. Today we got teenage serial killer thinks she can manipulate the police. Let's get into it, let's do it. As that they are talking with a heartless serial killer with the truth. This is 17-year-old Cassandra Bjor. Is that a Cassandra is about to be interrogated by the police regarding the violent murder of both of her grandparents. As the detectives uncover the truth about- Off rip, I'm gonna say this. On some real stuff, if I was to kill somebody and I'm getting investigated, bro, my stomach would not be one of no type of food, no nothing. So y'all, it's crazy. That's how I know people is crazy. Look, this bitch is smiling. The bitch smiling. <laughs> Bro, she's smiling because she got a big frap and a quarter pounder meal. I would be not hungry. Like, I'm complaining about I don't want no food. What a chill. What happened? They will begin to realize that they are talking with a heartless serial killer. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How could you stomach food right now? I don't think I've met you before, have I? No, 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 no. You remember the name? Coolness. 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 Really? Swear. 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 That's, probably, that's probably why I was class clown 25. Miss Coolness. That's a pretty cool shit. The realest investigative I've ever seen in my life. The real ones know the best fries from McDonald's is going to come at the bottom of the bag. And that investigator knew that. Me personally, I'm having words with her because, like, you eating my fries. So, you like, I need every last bit. I've never been to McDonald's and threw away the fries that's in the bag. I always grab them. It's either I'm putting them back inside my box, but nine times out of ten, I'm just going to freehand them bitches. And, yeah, <laughs> you feel me? Cool, whatever you want. It's pretty, I mean, you look familiar. Yeah, I mean, I don't want I'm there, man. That's a full I'll be bag. I'll be right back in with you. No. Don't spray this for me. I will. <laughs> Do you, is there anything in that bag that'll help you? Uh, right now? No, because it's not your tonsils. Yeah. I'm just going to grab it and put it out here. Okay. Do you have anything to Okay. Why are you watching my removal, little girl? Turn around. Hmm. Cassandra's grandparents, Randall and Wendy Bjorg, had taken her in when she was 16. Cassandra was a problem child, and her grandparents hoped that they could straighten her out. Within the first year that Cassandra was staying with them, the police would be called over 30 times. Cassandra would continuously run away from their home, and on one occasion, she assaulted her grandmother. As time went on, Cassandra would begin dating 19-year-old Johnny Ryder, and she was able to convince him to help her kill her grandparents. Talk of music you listen to. I like every well not everything. I, I'm pretty open minded. Except you don't like country, do you? I don't like country. <laughs> I really don't like country. I like your friends though. I, I don't like your country. I've tried, but no. I, I it just it doesn't I can't vibe with it. How am I so full? Man, that fool looks uh, Oh, same for me. Well, you have been in the hospital and you're eating hospital food and stuff. This makes me so disappointed. Yeah, I don't know. She said she could eat two McChickens and yeah. she had to make it through it. Y'all gave her a burger and her hands messed up. Like, feed me and stuff. I don't want to smack dog. I can't eat this whole thing. I'm not going to make it. I don't want to get you sick. I'm not going to make it throw it up. It's all right. You can drink your fried chicken. It's a digestive. But um, I used to swim too. Huh? Mm-hmm. You're quite a little out Kill her grandparents, they said. I wanted to play baseball or softball. Um, I've also done soccer. And let's see. Maybe a little bit of tennis. Like, I don't care how irritated or mad or fed up I get with my family members. The thought of killing them or harming them would never cross my mind. You feel me? It's just not something I think of. <laughs> The detectives do their best to make Cassandra comfortable. They buy her food and they talk about her hobbies and they even laugh at jokes with her as if they had been friends for a while. After they finish their meal, the detectives begin talking about why Cassandra is there. Well, obviously, <clears throat> I think I kind of in charge of what's been going on 
I guess the past week, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I talked to Ryan, Investigator Ryan Thurman, or Investigator Thurman, the guy that you talked to yesterday, I guess. Oh, uh, was he? How can I describe him? Was he like the top? He's a short now, he's a short The short one? Okay, so he was the director. You know what matter? You talk to him. Yeah, yeah, he's an investigator. Yeah, okay, yeah. I worked with him before. He was helping me with the case that I had with my stepdad. Oh, yeah. What do you think of that tall guy? He was okay. I feel like I met him before. How old is she again? I think I met him when I went to court once. I think they said like 15, 14. He was okay. Yeah. Just one. Sort of weird. <coughs> sort of weird? Sort of weird. <clears throat> And you remember when I came to you today, just asked you a couple questions? Yeah. Remember I made fun of myself because those are Graham's past four was one, two, three. Yeah. Four, yeah. It was, I always did that with all of my phones. I don't like complicated passwords, one, two, three, four. Or I, I don't know if, am I mistaken or not, but I thought like kids couldn't talk or like investigate with police without their parents or something like that. Wasn't it like that? Or am I tripping? Let me know in the comment section down below. Well, zeros. That's a, that's a good one. Well, I don't want, you know, kind of to make you upset or make you relive anything, but I just got some follow-up questions I'd like to ask you. Do you remember uh, when you read your, your rights and all that? Yeah. Okay. Do you, you understand all that? Yeah. Well, I'm just going to read them again just to make sure that he, I guess he's read them right. You never know. And then i just like to ask you some questions, no stress, and then and then go over some stuff. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. And I guess I'll, your boyfriend, Johnny, mm -hmm. how long you date that dude for? Like three months. Three months? Do all the you guys, you, pretty, you and Johnny pretty tight? Did you have feelings for him? Or just kind of a boyfriend type thing? Or I have feelings, thing? I still have feelings for him. I, so. I care about him. I guess I'm gonna ask a corny question, is it love or I don't? Yeah. yeah. This is what he told me. Um, after time being, we went to Atlanta and we were on like this, I don't know, it was like this parking lot thing and we got to see like the whole city. Mm -hmm. And he told me that when we were sitting up there, that like for a second he looked at me and I looked at him and he told me that all I could see was just me and then purple around me. And he said like purple is like a sign of love. And he said like ever since then, like it was like, Love at first sight. That movie, Ash. Now she's like saying that I'm stalking her when I've only met the girl like twice. Yeah, I talked to Johnny a couple days ago and just talking to him, she, I think she definitely was crazy. So. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. So is he, he sends is, his regards and all that stuff, so. Is he like, is he doing okay? He no, he's fine. Okay. Yeah, he's, he actually is better off than you, you know. They I wish they would have like matched it up so like in the videos did. and put he both did. of them yeah. here mm -hmm. so we could have seen yeah, his side too. Because he played a big part in whatever they did, I guess. Because he did it with me mm -hmm. too. Excuse she kept going and I kept telling her to stop. So yeah, he's maybe this tougher scan out. I just wish we had him and get to like what Right happened. before Cassandra and Johnny had been caught, they decided they didn't want to spend the rest of their lives in jail. As SWAT was approaching the apartment building they were in, they both attempted to take their own lives. Fortunately, the police were able to get them to a hospital and the doctors were able to save their lives. After hundreds of stitches and casts on both arms, Cassandra was allowed to leave the hospital. Now, what do you do? Like, if you get caught up in a crime, do you take your own life? Like, or do you just try to go on the run? Me personally, I just feel like it's just all a waste of time. If you go and commit a crime, why are you taking your own life, bro? Because now you just took somebody else's life, you took their shine away, you took the rest of their life away for nothing. You telling me you just killed your grandparents just to get caught and try to kill yourself? So what was the point? You feel me? I, I just like that irks me every time I hear a story like that when somebody kills somebody and they end up killing themselves. It's just like, what was you doing? You feel me? <clears throat> Hospital and go straight to the police station. It's just so pointless. <laughs> you taking somebody's you life like away to take yours away. Last year. Yep. Even if you were. So, so I guess let's uh, just kill yourself. 
guess let's start from the scratch. Uh, oh, you too. Talk about about what happened? Start from on it. when you ran away, I guess. Is that the 31st? Do you remember? Or 28th or something like that? I don't really. Was it? I didn't really run away. My grandmother kicked me out. Okay. Because, like, this is what happened. Like, I was so with Johnny and my other friend Sabrina, and mm -hmm. I came home because, you know, it was time for curfew because mm -hmm. I didn't want to violate my probation. So I came home, and my grandpa was asleep, and my grandma got really mad at me, and she was, like, saying, like, oh, you know, if you don't like it here, you know, we're just going to find somewhere else for you to stay. And she just said that out of the blue. Like, she just got really mad for some reason. And so Stop. I was just like, if you're going to find another place for me to stay, I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to find somewhere else to go. You will so, have to try, little girl. And trying to get out with that night's hero. Basically, you with your you came back, your grandparents were home, and I guess that's when you had that argument. Wait, wait what? So you just had an argument with your grandma, right? Mm -hmm. Did you? I left. Okay. No. I'm sorry. I got you. And then when you left, where'd you go to? Johnny. I was just staying with Johnny. Like, we were sleeping in his car. And then, so you're kicking it with Johnny. Where are you kicking with him at? We were just all over the place daily. We were just trying to find something to do. Just keep, you know just have something to do because we don't want to just sit around and do nothing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've got to keep people in this car race and go to the mall or something. Was it all your friends you were chilling with or all his friends or a combination? Or? It was sort of like combination mm -hmm. between both. Who are your friends? Is it just Sabrina? Like, me personally, I, I, I'm 22 now. You know what I'm saying? But I've always been a saver. I always have money in my pockets. I could not be going to the mall can't be just driving around if I ain't got nothing. You feel me? This man, 19 years old. I can't say he should be doing more than what he's doing, but you sleeping in your car, you worried about a little girl right now, bro. Go go work or something. You know what I'm saying? That's why she in jail right now. Around the wrong place. Have you got other... I mean, I only have, like, one other friend, Izzy. Izzy. I don't know. Like chilling with like a lot of people, just because I don't trust a lot of people. I'm saying, well, I only have a couple friends myself, so she's one of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you, uh, so I guess when did you decide to go back to your grandparents' house uh, in the middle of the night? It was like a couple of days after, like two or three days. Mm -hmm. You remember Saturday, Sunday? You she scratched uh, herself. Watch out for that. Even though, like, what day it was mm -hmm. that we went into the house. And before you did that, did you and Johnny meet up somewhere at a park or something yeah. and talk about we what's to, going on? We went to Peach Church Park and then we talked about it. At first, it wasn't my idea at first. Mm -hmm. um, How did you even get, I guess, what was said? How did you even bring up? What was the context? He first asked me, Are you afraid to die? Mm -hmm. And I said, No. And I asked him, are you afraid to die? And he said, no. And, and he was just talking about how we could, like, run away together, you know, that kind of dream. And he asked me, he was like, would you kill your grandparents? And I kind of, like, hesitated for a minute. And I was like, why? And he was just like, I don't know. I mean, because I he knows probably everything that I've been through. Oh, the sound family. right. Why would he mention and, that? He understands that, you know, like, all I really wanted to do was just kind of get away from everything, kind of just move on with myself. Like, I wasn't having a good relationship she with my out, grandparents. But... Like, it just, it started getting really bad, you know, like, they, I got a charge from them because, you know, like, I fought them, you know. I might have broken, like, my grandpa's ribs when, you know. For that charge for your simple assault mm -hmm. simple battery you know this little girl and crazy just, like, hold on be right back just got really worse we just kept arguing all the time and then i don't know i guess things they like, just seemed different they didn't look at me the same anymore like they didn't i don't know it was, it's like they're the vibe that they had was like they didn't really know what to do they didn't really know like how to like be around me I guess they didn't really know that like how to talk to me so I didn't really know like how to talk to them either so it was like it was just 
a really hard. There's a big age difference too, so. Yeah. Know. And then, you know, before it, all the stuff happened with my parents, you know, like they treated me so much differently, you know. They had, you know, they trusted me, you know, I could have done it. Like, listening to her, I hear her out for sure. Like, I definitely do hear her, you know, some of her grandparents, how she feel, whatever. But you gotta also think about how she is on probation. You know what I'm saying? She got a 19 year old boyfriend at like 15, bro. Like, girls like that, they outside doing stuff. You know what I'm saying? And especially like, <clears throat> I had, my mama was a, a nurse. You know what I'm saying? So like, I didn't have time. My mama wasn't um, with us like all day. You know what I'm saying? So we'd be at my grandma crib and it'd be us and my cousins together. You know what I'm saying? So like, you take advantage of your grandma and your grum, your grandpa, you know what I'm saying, your grandparents, you know what I'm saying, a lot of the times. And I feel like that's what she was doing, running over them. And that's how they started really treating her like that. You feel me? So it's not just her just being mistreated, you know what I'm saying? Grandparents is too loving for that, bro. Like, I was free and I loved going over there and it wasn't like, you know, they just not letting you do what you want. Living there, so you know, because I was with my parents, so I never like ever had that feeling. But even though I did live with them before, it, I don't know. It was just it kind of just like changed throughout like the whole time that I was with them. So I, I don't know. I kind of just the <laughs> part. Yeah. When you guys met at the park, did he, did he ever go over the actual plan on how you guys would do it or anything like that? Or, mm -hmm. Like, what was that? Uh, uh, well, <clears throat> I mean, we were just trying to figure out how to get money. And because he said that he might have had a warrant. And I didn't know if I had a warrant because, you know, my grandma kicked me out. And then that's she did the same thing that my mom did. Like, my mom would kick me out. Then, like, a couple of days later, she would call the cops saying that I ran away when I did. Like, sometimes, like, she would Sound like my force life. me out of the house. Because, mm -hmm. like, sometimes, like, I would just be like, Mom, why are you doing this? And then, you know, she would, like, literally, like, grab my stuff and push me out the door and then call the cops on me. So I felt like that's what, like, my grandma did, and I didn't know. So I was already feeling that I had a warrant or something that I already violated probation. And Johnny was saying that he might have already like, violated probation because he thought his mom called the cops on him or something. I don't know. But how we started talking about it was like, we started out like with, you know, what time should we go to the house? How are we going to do this? You know, like, what, are we, what you know, that's sad. You're you really plotting on your you know, grandparents, bro. So, you know, we started talking about that. And then, you know, so we decided to go around like midnight or 1, 1 30 because mm -hmm. my grandma normally went to sleep around like 11 30 12. so we we decided like you know we would park down the road and then the park was literally like right behind my backyard like the neighborhood park so i was able to go through the park and then cut through my backyard because there was a fence like there was the trees, then there was my fence, and then there was the house. Mm -hmm. So you could easily like go through the trees, and then there's the little gate that you could go through. I didn't even think like you could even open it. Yeah, how'd you guys move that cement? To, isn't it like a cement uh, block or center block or something? Yeah, I, I, it was pretty easy to move. Like I was able to push the door out a little bit, mm -hmm. and then like it was stuck, but I was able to maneuver my body over to get in the you know, into the other side. And then I just moved this cement block over so that Johnny could get through. Cassandra claims that Johnny planned her grandparents' murder, but the truth is, Cassandra was the mastermind behind everything. Cassandra is about uh, to tell the detectives everything that happened before and after the murders took place. Bro, she knows how, what time her grandparents go to sleep, how they uh, maneuver around the house, if the door is locked or not. You know what I'm saying? If they got a camera, she know everything. You could talk me to death. This man was sitting at this park with this girl and he brought up, do you want to kill your grandparents? It just don't make sense to me. You know, he might have went along with what you said, but nine times out of 10, that was your plan, baby. You definitely brought that up to that man and he just went along with it. You feel me? You probably even brought up that the park is behind Joe, you, your backyard. We could walk through this and leave this way. I guarantee it, bro. 
She will explain how she killed her grandparents and then lived in their home for several days with the bodies. You lived in the house with the bodies? the story doesn't end at her grandparents' home because Cassandra planned on killing more people. Oh my God. She lived in the same house with her dead grandparents, bro. You were living out of his car. Did he have like a lot of clothes in his car that he would change into? Yeah. Okay. She he different. had clothes in his car. Mm -hmm. But did he have like different shoes or did he kind of just keep one pair of shoes on? He had different shoes. He had a bunch of stuff in his car. Okay. It's kind of like Mary Poppins. Okay. That's, well, a, that's a good, good analogy. Right? I like yeah. that. So when you guys made it to the, I guess the back door, or the back gate, mm -hmm. what did you guys do next? How did you move up to the house? Well, we went up the stairs. The, the decking stairs? Yeah, okay. the back deck. And my grandma was still up because we got there a little bit early. So we went back down and we were kind of just chilling over where... Um, the shed is? Yeah, we were just chilling by the shed. Mm -hmm. And then we saw that the lights turned out and then we just like stayed outside for a little bit longer just to, you know, wait. And then I already had the keys to my house because I already had a set of keys. So I was able to unlock the back door and then that would... That Literally, backed up. And it's back door. <laughs> and then the bottom back the door. The back door. Which is still talking about the no. door and stuff. Yeah, like okay. when you go up the back, on the back deck, there's two doors. There's a door on the left and a door on the right, and I went to the door on the right. Because the door on the left had a sensor on it. Mm -hmm. Like one of those, like. A beep beep or whatever? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the door for open somewhere. Uh, one of the ones that kind of like announces each door. Mm -hmm. no, My grandma used to have it. But there. the one you guys wanted to didn't have it. Yeah, I was able to take that one out. Because, like, it was, it's, it was like a really old, like, alarm system. Like, they had this alarm system for Imagine years. Imagine being, like, a different All family member just, having like, to watch this. Button, just to open it and then just take the battery out. And I already took the, the amount of hate that you would have for this while. girl is crazy. What was that for? You taking the battery out? Just yeah. to, like, sneak out. Okay. Because listening to her talk about and this right now, time, I have so like I have not heard one real reason why she so even you guys are at that attempted this murder. Right right now, uh, you're the first one to kind of walk inside there, or how yeah. you, okay. so there was stuff in front of the door because my grandma normally would lock off the back door. So, but I was able to open. So I unlocked the back door. I was able to open the back door a little bit and not have the stuff in front of the door fall and you know make a noise. So I was able to like maneuver in and then I moved the stuff in front of the door and then I got drawn in and then closed the door and locked it. And then was you guys kind of you staying out downstairs or did you start moving upstairs? Or? We we went upstairs. We meet we didn't immediately go upstairs. Like we went to the stairs and we were like just listening, just hearing what was going on and we thought everything was good and then we went upstairs and... Oh, did you guys have anything in your hands or just... Yeah. I had um... What's it called? It's one of those car tools. Oh, is it to do a tire or yeah, is it to fix it? It was a tire iron. Damn, you beat so your rock Where'd you get that at? Johnny's car. Did okay. you see that one in his car? His mm -hmm. Honda? Mm -hmm. Or whatever. And Johnny just used his fist, and he brought a black book bag um, that had duct tape in it, and it had um, the tire iron in it, and it had gloves in it, because we were also wearing gloves too. What kind of gloves? They were like... Like hospital yeah. gloves or regular? I'm sorry for keep pausing, but I'm just in awe right now. I'm thinking like they killed them by like shooting them or something, but the amount of hate that you have for your grandparents to beat them with a tire iron is freaking ridiculous, bro. Like, stabbing and all that type of stuff, I feel like you have to really be crazy and really have to have some hate and anger towards someone to really be able to just look somebody in their face and like physically do that, you know what I'm saying? And this is somebody that you love, you know what I'm saying? So you sitting there watching them scream and, and, and look at you and bleed and really hurt while you beating them. Like, I don't know. And like I said, this is sounding like it's all for nothing. Blue? Okay. Bitch? Yeah, they're blue. Okay. So, 
So now you guys are at the stairs, starting to go up the stairs. She's not even yeah. crying. Or you actually had the tire iron in her hand, or just on the book bag? I had the tire iron in my hand. Yeah, we got it out before we went inside the house. Mm -hmm. So I had it in my hand. And Johnny didn't have any weapon, he just used his fist. Okay. So, and then. So, who's first up the stairs? Is it you who's kind of following you? Or? Yeah, okay. I go up the stairs. He goes into my grandpa's room, and then I go into my grandpa's room. Mm -hmm. And then he, do you hear kind of what's going he on uses his there? Face. Does that kind of cue you off to mm -hmm. with your grandmother there? Yeah, he he started going at it, and then you know I could hear my grandpa just yelling, you know them fighting, and then I started getting the rush, and then you know, that's when I started hitting my grandma. She started rush. like screaming and stuff. And was yeah. that the first hit? Yeah, the back of the head. Yeah, she oh. bit me. I, mean, I took a picture of that yesterday, right? Yeah, wow. she did me in my finger too, but I forgot which finger. It was on my right hand. I think it was either like my middle finger. I hope they be on jail, bro. Or everything I love. When I you guys, they look when jail. you and your grandmother used to get into it, is that that's kind of how she she did she bite you before yeah. to kind of get you off or whatnot? Yeah, she's oh. been me before. She's been you before too. Yeah. Why are you putting I your hands in your grandma? She, uh, she's she been me before. Okay. Like when you guys were in it, or did you just yeah. come up and bite you? No, like when we were in it, oh, okay. like I had this. Um, That's crazy work, Jake. Where she bit me for a while. Where did she bite you that night? On your finger? Yeah. Anywhere yeah. else? On my arm, mm -hmm. where they took the picture of mm -hmm. it, and then that was it. So you're in the bedroom with your grandmother, and when? I guess when do you meet back up with Johnny? Do you have, do you leave your grandmother there, or kind of what happens? Um. So I started hitting my grandma, and I already had duct tape, and then you know Johnny's doing his thing, mm -hmm. and you doing know his I thing. stop hearing Johnny doing whatever, and so he comes in the room with me and my grandma, and um, you know he helps me like tie up my grandma with the duct tape, and. And how do you tie? How do you do that? Is it just her hands or? I got her hands. I got her whole head, and then I got her ankles. Okay, her hands. So the heart is just like this. Yeah. Okay. And Johnny right. helped you uh, tie her up. Yeah, I mean, I mostly did it, but I needed like a little bit of help because you know she was like, you know, moving around and stuff, and so he helped me a little bit, and then he went back into my grandma's room. Watching this. And then. What were you doing when he went back in your grandma's room? He, I was still with my grandma, and then in her room. Yeah, and then I dragged her into my grandpa's room, and and Johnny asked me to go get some knives. So I got some knives from downstairs in the kitchen, and I got three big butcher knives. For what? I asked her for the code to her um safe, cause I already knew that she had a safe. And oh, not even it, I just didn't know it was in the safe. Mm. So I mean. Did she tell you? Yeah, I mean, like, she kept saying, like, I'll give you money, I'll give you my keys, you know, I'll give you anything you want. But, um, yeah, she, she just kept was saying. Was she able to talk with the duct tape around her face? Yeah. Like, she was, she was, like, mumbling. You could still understand her, but, like, at the same time, you couldn't. Like, it wasn't like her mouth was shut. Like, yeah. almost as if. It was like that. Okay. Almost as if, like, she could still move her mouth. And yeah. To make the words feel the same. Mm hmm so we, we left my grandma sitting there on the floor and then I got the code to the safe. So Johnny's watching my grandpa and my grandma and I'm over. How'd you get that code? Did she tell you guys yeah. or? She told us. Okay. Um, so she told us the code and you know, I went in the closet because that's where they kept the safe. So, you know, I go in there, you know, I'm checking out all the stuff and I grab the book bag and I just start stuffing the book bag with everything, you know? Like there's envelopes just filled with money. There was probably about like a thousand dollars that we found in that safe that they were just saving. And she was going a thousand dollars like shit, little girl. Well, my grandma, it was kind of weird. Like she was kind of giving me like an idea about it. You stupid little girl. Stupid little girl. You know what a thousand dollars gonna get you nowadays? I could spend a thousand dollars in ten minutes, literally. I could spend a thousand dollars just thinking of what I want from Walmart. I could spend thousand dollars at the gas station, goddamn. That might be a little mission, but I definitely can though. But it's just like before, like she was saying, what if I just gave you a thousand dollars? Just make the world a better place. I'm just like, no, I don't want. 
thousand dollars, you know. So you know, she kept saying that, and then like when I saw it, I was just like, wow, she actually had a thousand dollars. That's how you want it. Like, like, <laughs> she, crazy. She guys put that stuff in a bag. She said it like it's a meal ticket. Uh, John, basically, Johnny's in the in your grandpa's room mm -hmm. with your grandpa and your grandma in the room. Mm -hmm. Do you come back in there and say, "Hey, I got the stuff," or mm -hmm. what? Okay. Yeah, I go back into the room and I tell him that I got the stuff. And so after that, and then we drive my grandma into the bathroom. And <clears throat> what was the reason for that? Just to bring her to the bathroom. Yeah, I don't know why we brought her back into the bathroom. I guess we didn't want to bring her into the bedroom. Mm -hmm. So we just brought her into the bathroom. Um, and then, yeah. And then Johnny. Mm -hmm. And, and she was, was kind of creepy because she was like scared mm -hmm. to die. Like, she she shared herself and her pain herself. Oh, did she? It was kind of gross. Really so you said the last blow though was it, like the last you just told me yo cutting their necks off you hit them and you just said that she was kind of scared to die she pooped and peed on her so it was kind of gross like how don't you have bro I don't, i'm gonna keep saying it bro like the, the 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 lack of emotion and love in this girl is crazy She's only 15 years old, bro. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know, hit, man. Like, you must hit with the tire. It's not normal. You did that. You were ever. Excuse me. Then did you guys pretty much just leave upstairs? That's crazy. Or? Yeah, well, we were just... Like, after that, then we closed the doors. And then... We were just turning around, seeing if everything was okay, and then I started grabbing my clothes and started stepping bad with my clothes, and then Johnny's, you know, walking around doing his thing, checking to make sure that they were both dead, and trying to make sure if we uh, didn't forget anything, and yeah, then we left, and then we came back to the house. When you guys left, where'd you guys go to? We went over to like Kroger. Public, so go get something to eat, and then we went back to the house. So we just kind of like, I wonder how people like kill people and then just, just like stay go live their normal lives, bro. Yeah, it was kind of both. We were kind of like in and out of the house for a couple days. It was just me and him. We didn't tell anyone. I mean, I told I told my friends that my grandparents went on a vacation for like two weeks. Um, Did you call some of your friends ever and say, hey, if you guys want to come over? Because I spoke to some people and that's just the rumor going out. They just said, hey, if you guys want to come over, not for a party or anything, but, you know, I got some money, grandparents are out of town. Yeah. I'll for the kill them After kids, the too. took place, Where Cassandra and Johnny lived in the home and went about their normal lives. That's weird. Cassandra went to her karate lessons while Johnny hung out with his friends. They would spend their days shopping and dining at various restaurants. Then they would go home and spend the night only a few feet away from the bodies. The couple continued living like this until they decided they wanted to murder Johnny's family next. Conversation where you guys had that and you were talking about maybe Merge. getting out of town and stuff like that, starting your new life, starting over and whatnot. Yeah. Um, how come you guys did stay? Well, because you try to kill his family this too? Is the plan. First, we were gonna get my grandparents. You hot? Um, you hot? Yeah, I wanna give her the oh, okay. squishy things. Okay. Well, you're yes. uh, yes. stuff. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, so the reason why we stayed in town was because the plan was we were gonna get both of our families. That's why. Okay. Right. Oh, what? Okay, That's what I'm so saying. What? The plan was that we were both gonna get both of our families. But first we got my grandparents. Then that's why we went over to Johnny's house and we attacked his sister and her boyfriend because we were he wanted to kill his family. Okay. So that's like we stayed Gee, in town. Imagine being at your girl crib and 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 her brother get to tweaking on you. What do you do? Me personally. <laughs> For a couple days, you know, we wanted to get some money, we wanted to get ready to leave, 
and then that plan of just going over to his house. I take my life like, real serious. It bro. didn't work out at all. It, it just went. It went downhill from there. No, there seems to be a pretty big gap. Yeah. Still though, between your grandparents and then attacking his sister and the boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Was that kind of in the plan? Yeah. Yeah. So like, what was the motive for that? And then yeah. Kill them. Well, we were really like going on like a week thing. We were kind of just like a day to day kind of thing. Like, what are we gonna do today? Sort of thing. But I mean, we wanted to get out of town as soon as possible. Okay. But just how it all just kind of timed out. Thank you so much. It didn't really like. It just I don't know. It didn't really work out as we planned it to be. Okay. So. So there was no, so you guys basically stayed in town after your grandparents because the plan was meant to kill Johnny's family and maybe get some more money? Yes. Okay. And it wasn't like a set schedule on Saturday at 5.55 p.m. Or it was just doing it off the head. More of a day-to-day -day thing? Yeah, I mean, like, you know, we were, we were just planning on doing it at night, mainly. Okay. So, so what made you guys pick that night that you did it? And not any of the other nights before. Was anybody going to be at the house that should have been, or were you waiting on someone in particular to be there with them? Who's in Johnny's family? Do you got a mom and a dad? Just a mom, two sisters, and that's it. Okay. And uh, yeah, we were we were really like planning on like what time. We were just kind of like. Just going how it went, I guess. Mm -hmm. Just saying how it would go, and then it, it just kind of like really downhill from there. Okay. Um, with the bear spray and everything, the baseball bat. The way y'all put a bear spray? Yeah. Yeah. Bear Anyways, man, we're going to part two this. We're going to finish the, the last 20, 30 minutes on the next video. But you let me your thoughts down below. Be sure to like the video, comment, kind of subscribe to your boy, Facebook, and Jenner.